looks like where I went in a couple of ago. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it simple me why go on my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Give thanks for life on the gathering. Watch our one pan. Why go on now? I go on start the news. Right, which part me left off? You understand? I don't want the people them come out come cuss me and say, my view. You know say you're not easy. Imagine you tell me this morning. You are sitting for tell me and you don't tell me. Me I go tell you now. Me I go tell you now because me didn't need you know. Get up on the stomach before near this stupid this year. Bernard Ellis, yes, and some police will work with him. All of them need to go do book duty. Yeah, man. Them need to go into the filing room. One bunch of idiot them. Let me say one bunch of idiot people. I mean one bunch of idiot. Imagine you see there in a broad daylight. I'm not even attack night where they can't see good. Broad daylight. Them are run down F1. I'm a tough fuck. Or Brian Garvey. Me I give him right name. Run down O'Brien Garvey before they just take out the gun with few money, buy give them, slap out boy and back a boy a criminal. Them run him down, put an handcuff on him and carry him behind bars. Then Vernon him now, I will come out, come, come talk. All you fellows are working now. Last week in an interview, the commanding officer for Hanover did ask Mr. O'Brien Garvey, OCF1, to turn himself in to the police relative to cases of shooting and wounding that he is wanted for in the Hanover division. Mr. Garvey did not follow the, the requests and instructions of the commanding officer there. Earlier today, a tactical response team that was deployed from the St. James division in a rural community in St. James went in pursuit of Mr. O'Brien Garvey. Garvey was seen he ran from the police. He was pursued extensively. He was captured by the police. He was taken into custody and he has been handed over to the detectives in the Hanover division. Mr. Paper, after we see the police, they were running on the boy and the whole house down from the wall just and look. We are saying, yes, three days time, whole away got the yard got the free food. Police then do the stupidness. He police them do two business, put him in a handcuff, you understand? Put him in a handcuff, quote date the boy again, instead of funeral service. They my police have to lose them job, I'm not a fuck, I forgot on security guard. Anyway, watch your one pan, what one now? A St. Andrew mother is making a plea for the violence in the country to stop. This after her partner was confronted by armen just outside the grounds of the Gregor Park Baptist Church in St. Catherine on Thursday. The common law couple was attending a funeral. Gregor Park has been an upbeat for criminal activity in recent months, with the most recent incident seen the fire bombing of a couple house. Well, 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 well. Me now come like politician them and pick side because a two place house burned down. You understand? 
The woman said her partner, who is the father of her two children, were left shaken after being confronted by thugs who demand to know his reason for being in the community. She was then told by the thugs that they had to page him because his face was strange. The woman said the incident happened at about 1 p.m. as she and her partner were about to enter their motor vehicle parked in the churchyard. She said the scene played out in full view of onlookers. The woman said one of the men had a rifle across him back people and this are the same record back in the police them there from the other day you know the police them know them the police them know them anyway you're the woman here I can't see the blood in an island in a killer like going to kill someone. And one time someone come out in my relative and hear them ball out. And when I struck him, I saw my best fellow could have get the moon back in him car. And he said, me, I said, when I go inside and I tell my, my father-in-law, say, I'm leaving the car, going man, just come to approach my dear father. My son, shock. My son, also shock. Shock. And what about you? <laughs> from, from last time, I'm going to the side. Going to the bathroom, me and shock and traumatized. What is going on? Can you walk? What is going on? I wonder if it's Jamaica when I grow up. What is going on? Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Yeah, we was experienced that before, you know. But we, we moved, take my children out and get up. I get up, we was on and go. But we missed like the invasion was when the invasion went black down the country, black down. We witnessed house burning and people get shot. Soon and very soon, the gunman them are going to take over this country just as all them take over 80, you understand? Watch your gun power, gun. I not tell a lie. Like how oh, I go to Gregory Park News, I can give you some more Gregory Park News. Two alleged gangsters were yesterday remanded in the St. Catherine Parish Court on charges related to crime committed in Gregory Park area of Portmore. Philip Scott is on charge of murder and being part of a criminal organization. His co accused Tyrese Taylor is charged with murder, unauthorized possession of ammunition. Possession of a permitted weapon, being a part of a criminal organization, knowingly conspiring with a criminal organization and illegal possession of firearm. Scott attorney Hugh Thompson dismissed the allegation against his client. Mr. Scott is still perplexed and shocked by these charges as he has been living with his girlfriend in Old Arbor since April 18, 2023, Thompson argued. Uh, before them the time, they also this is a liar boy, you idiot. This a liar boy, a idiot, you know. Oh, him pass exam. Oh, him pass the bar and name something there. Oh, him, then again, in copy, will he? Yeah, this a phone she sent out paper. The lawyer said it was on his advice that his client relocate as he told him to leave Gregor Park. Why not tell him leave if he not get trouble? Hmm? You come give we a good explanation as to why us look for him and tell him, say, leave his fire live and go elsewhere go live. You feel like everybody a idiot like on the don't it? September 11, just uh, right around the corner. You understand? So, we don't know where we're going, but we're going, them the time there. But, let me tell you where we're going for Stanley right now. A 72 year old man on Thursday was charged with the fatal chopping of his 59 year old sister at their home in Discovery Bay, St. Anne. Stanley Brady, an electrician of Garvey Made Portmore St. Catherine, is to go to court to answer the charge of murder. The police report that in the afternoon of Saturday, August 12, Lynette Brady was at home. When she was attacked by her brother who inflicted several chop wounds to her body, the police said she managed to escape and ran to her neighbor's house where she collapsed. Members of the community attacked her brother who was rescued by the same idiot police them who just allow him to get the business fixed. Both injured person, a matter of fact, Miss Brady did dead. Miss Brady did dead, you understand? And the big idiot in the hospital. The big idiot in the hospital, you know. Instead of them say to it, say, this a boy has joined him, sister. Then treat him. Then treat him and release him to the police. On Thursday, August 17, the man was charged after a question and session in the presence of his attorney. I tell me, at 72, we're not supposed to look for dead. You decide for one guard prison. Or if I make him kick a bucket. Or if I make him kick a bucket, you know, I make him stay around there too long. Don't make him turn around there too long, you understand? Anyway, now people, watch your guard, power, your guard. Two St. Catherine based business people are to face the court on fraud charges in relation to separate incidents. They are 43 year old Ricardo Chambers, a furniture maker of Nadine Road in Edwater, Portmore, and 39 year old Kenesha Burrell of Phoenix Park in Portmore. In the first incident, police report that Chambers was slapped with several fraud charges after. 
prospective customer files report to the police on incident that occurred between January and June 2022. He was charged with three counts each of fraudulent conversion, no delivery of goods and services, uncontracted date, and misleading, yes people, misleading and deceptive conduct. The Portmore Police report that on January 2022, Chambers was contracted by a woman to build a kingside bedroom set. So she never went and got single air quotes, you understand? Oh, she said, you don't sit up on them things that my best thing that low come, you really want to say that out loud, you understand? It's reported that she paid 175000 as an payment and was told the balance should be paid in March when the job is complete. You know, so she could have gone to town and get it cheaper. Me <laughs> tell her the truth. All the Syrian them could have given her it cheaper than that the price that she paid. Police said Chambers did not deliver on his contract and instead went into hiding. In April 2022, a man reportedly contacted Chambers via Instagram account where his business was being advertised. Yes, people, me tell her go on, go on, go on. Right, let's offer that the man now. You understand? The man reportedly contacted him to build a dresser and two night tables. He made a down payment of 60000 with a balance to be paid upon completion of the job. It is further alleged that Chambers did not complete the job and neither did he provide a refund. According to police, Chambers again paid $90,000 as a deposit by a woman in June 2022 to build a dresser scheduling the balance to be paid upon completion of the job. It's reported that he again failed to honor the contract and again went into hiding. The three complainants made a report to the police and a probe was launched. Chambers arrested and charged. His court date is being finalized. Mr. Paper, I can tell you something. I catch him and catch two fool and beat them cast them back in big belt. You know? Yeah, man. But they want to make out a pine wood. You understand? Don't go down, don't shoot a girl long. Right, don't go down. Right, when I want to look at right, when I look apart. Anybody who doesn't make anything, just tell them, say, I miss. I don't know, you understand? I'm going to get a 10% discount. Once I say, yo, I miss, I don't know. 10% discount to not get for the bag, go to the tough chat. Just tell me. Remember, like, rrr, 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 for God deal with them. In the other incident, Kenesha Burrell was charged with fraudulent conversion stemming from an incident that occurred between January and August this year. Report from the Portmore Police that Burrell, who is known as a travel reservation agent, was paid $992,000 for reservation to be made at a five-star all-inclusive hotel. On the day of check-in, Burrell allegedly contacted the woman and told her that there was no vacancy at the hotel and she would be reimbursed her money. In full, however, the woman was only reimbursed seventy thousand dollars. The woman made a report to the police, and Borrell was arrested and charged. Her court date is made finalized. But Jesus, hi! Let me tell you something. When you think you have seen it all, remember, remember, go to Jamaica. This, a Jamaica, this you know, start see nothing yet. Imagine the man go so boom and take your own little bread knife in my house and cut it in short. And then, him never dead, you know? Him not dead. Him not dead. In garden, the police can't gang, 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 sit down. Yeah, people have the video, but I can't put it up because I'm going to put it up on YouTube or so. Boom, 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 boom. Take it down, my view. Take it down. Take it down as we're going to take away your page. I'm going to also know when the page get taken away. So, remember to listen to the audio and then forward it at the group. Come, go watch the video. Oh, that sound. Sound like a plan, don't it? All right, we're going to eat that way, yeah. Man, cut in one shot. Cool blood, man. Cool blood, man. A beer bomb, fuck your brother. Be a blood.